Dear viewers, welcome you to lesson 27. In the previous lesson, I asked you to write Uh in Bangla and Dushambad in Bangla. So here are the answers. Now, let's move on to today's lesson. Today we are going to learn a new jaw. Okay. So, you already know this jaw and now I am introducing you to another jaw. Why? Well, in English they have three jaws. So, in Bangla, we have only two jaws. And these two jaw, you will find it less complicated because we don't have any difference between the pronunciation. Both are, this is also jaw, this is also jaw. So, it's not like English that one is G, then another is Z. It's not like that. This is jaw, this is also jaw. Now, let's get rid of this. Let's start forming words with this and probably you will know what is special about this jaw. Okay. So, this is G. So, I'm making a G, right? Then this is shaw, G. -sh. Now, I'm writing G shu, right? Okay. G shu. So, do you, uh, can you guess what is the meaning of this? I hope so. You know that in Hindi, they have a word called ishu. And in English, they have a word called Jesus. So, Jesus is Jishu in Bangla. And when you put U with Sha, it is actually, it looks something like this. Something like this, okay? So, when this U joins with this. Okay. So, this is Jishu. Now, let's form another word uh, like juke. So, what is juke? Let me write juke here. Juke. This is how we pronounce it in Bangla. So, let's write it with Bangla letters. Jaw. So, then I will not need the ga. This is ga and I will need the U sign. Okay. Here is the U sign. So, juke. In Hindi, they pronounce it as, probably they pronounce it as yuk. In Hindi, they pronounce the Jesus as yeshu. Maybe yeshu, right? So, Ishu. Maybe this is how we can transliterate it. This. this is Jishu is Ishu in Hindi. Juk is Yug in Hindi. Uh, please correct me if I am wrong because I am not a Hindi teacher. Okay, I am a Bangla teacher and I am guessing as far as I know and as far as I have heard these are the Hindi version of these words. And then there is another word called yoga. Okay. That is the Hindi word yoga. It has also become an English word now. So what is the Bangla for yoga? Jog. Okay. So how will we write this? We will take this jaw. And then we will put this ga here. And as this is joke, so we will put this o sign here. Joke. So the yoga is jog in Bangla, and this is how we write jog in ba with Bangla letters like this. So, Jishu, Jug, Jog, all these are written in this way. Let's write one more word with this. And that will be Judho. Judho. So, let's write 
juke on this side. Judo. So how will we write this judo? We will need this jaw. Then we will need do. Okay. Do we have this here? I think we have. Let's use this first. So jaw and then do. And together they are consonant cluster. So we can combine this. So it can be like this. Jaw do. But we need this right so definitely this so judho this should be like this but probably you remember that it should not be this long when they are combined they take one letter space so this will not be this long so what to do when we combine this let's see how will we combine this so we will write the do like this so half of the space we will use then the dha but we don't have much space to do this thingy <coughs> on the top so what we will do we will just take it on the side and we will do like this so this is how it looks when dha and dha becomes combined will you remember so this is equal to this okay so, Yudho. Good. Now, maybe this is Yudh in Hindi. Is it so? If there is any Hindi speaker, please correct me. Maybe it's like this, Yudh. And in Bangla, this is Yudho. About Bangla, I am sure. Yudho, Jug, Jog, Jishu. Oh, I should write the pronunciation of this. Jishu. Oh, someone might uh, ask me that why am I using the long E for Jishu? Because Jishu is a foreign word. But, you know, we are not writing it the way it is pronounced in, uh, pronounced it in um, Hindi or in English or in Greek. So, in English they said Jesus. But when we are Banglafying this word, we are making a new word. So, we are saying Jishu. So, now it's our word, right? So, if it's our word, we can pronounce it in our style. So, that's why. And it's also traditional. For many years, people are using this long umbrella with Jishu. So, that's why. Uh, you don't need to think that this is a foreign word. So, we will use short umbrella. No. Jesus is a foreign word. But Jishu is not a foreign word. This is Bangla 5. Okay. So, Maybe one characteristic of this jaw is clear to you that this jaw has a Hindi version like your sound in Hindi and it is jaw in Bangla. So for those types of words which have both a Hindi version and Bangla versions and maybe some other versions as well like Nepalese and uh, Assamese like this. So for those types of words, this jaw is the specific one you must use this jaw instead of this other jaw so this jaw is for the other jaw sound but this jaw is reserved for those um, those words which have two versions or different versions in different words so it reminds me of the german um, sound like here in german they write this and they say yeah, but if we uh, think from our English perspective, we will say that this is ja, but this is not ja. German people will say this is ya. Yeah. So this jaw is actually, uh, sometimes it's interpreted as your sound, sometimes uh, it's interpreted as jaw sound. So it, it, this confusion is not in Bangland. It's all, actually not confusion. It has an explanation and linguists have wonderful explanation about this but let's not talk about those difficult things right now because we are all at the beginner level and all we need to know is jaw is a letter it's a full letter so the 
Characteristic number one is jaw is a complete letter. It can appear in the beginning, in the middle or at the end, anywhere because it's a complete letter. Okay. Characteristic number two is there are certain words which have different uh, versions like your version in another languages, in other languages. So jaw is reserved for those particular words like judho, jishu, jug, jog, which are could be pronounced as yud, yishu, yug, yoga in other languages, especially in Hindi. Okay, then jaw is also reserved for another type of word like, do you know the word uh, namaz or ajan? Ajan is the prayer call. So let me write ajan here. Ajan. So, Ajahn will be written in this way. Sorry, I should write it like this. So, A, uh, I'm missing this A uh sound. I'm putting the long uh, 2A just to assure that this is R sound. I can put 1A as well. No no difference at all. But just to put em emphasis that it will be R. Otherwise some may say Ajahn. That's why I put 2A. Ajahn. Okay. So you see instead of put, uh, writing it like with this jaw. I have written this with this jaw. Why? Because... This uh, jaw in Hindi, uh, sorry, in Arabic, they have a particular letter for this particular Ajan word. And that jaw should be interpreted as this jaw. So for those Ajan, Namaj type Arabic word, this jaw is reserved. So this is the characteristic number three, that for certain Arabic words, this jaw is used. Okay. Then there are some other Bangla words like Jodi, Jokhon. I, I will give you the letters, um, give you the words later. But there are certain Bangla words which take this jaw. And how will you master those words? By reading a lot, of course. And in some other lessons, in some next lessons, I'm going to do some reading. So don't worry about that. Don't panic, please. What you need to do is try to solve a thing. I'm going to give you a task. So, let me give you the task. Uh, write Juboraj Singh for me. Okay? So, this is your task. Juboraj Singh, which is Yobras in Hindi. Jubora Singh. So, oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Not Jubras, it is Juboraj in Bangla. This is how we pronounce it. Juboraj. So, Juboraj Singh. Forget about this H because we don't pronounce it uh, in Bangla. We say Singh. So, this H is silent. So, you don't need to worry about this. Just think about this much. From here to here, up to G. Okay? So write it in Bangla. That's your task for the next lesson. And I'm looking forward to seeing your answers. And see you in the next lesson. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.